Hello, everybody. All right, so um, I recently worked with someone who was making the transition from being a Fiverr freelancer to basically diversifying where they were getting their leads from, where their clients were coming from, and they started an Upwork profile and they actually got an hourly project. And so they were asking me, so how does billing on Upwork differ between billing from Fiverr? And I was like, hmm, okay, so have you started the project? They're like, yeah, the contract is active. And I'm like, have you started working? They said, yes, I've started working. I said, great, just wait for the money. It's gonna be an escrow. And then when the client approves it, you'll be paid. And they were like, but how? And then I said, well, the time tracker app. And they were like, whoa, 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 what are you talking about? So guys, when you work on an hourly basis on Upwork, say you've added in an hourly surcharge to a fixed rate contract, or you're working with a client long term. This is how I really recommend working hourly when you're working with a client long term. You just agree on a weekly rate or a weekly limit and then you can just bill and do the work that you were going to do. So if, for instance, you have a, um, a package that you sell, you sell a certain number of hours per week, and then that's how you get paid over the long term. So this particular freelancer did not know how to use the time tracker app. So this is what you do. You go to upwork.com right here, you scroll all the way to the bottom, right? You're going to see the link that says desktop app right? This guy right here, desktop app. And we'll just give it a bit of a wait. I've switched offices. So the internet is a little different, right? So then you can download Upwork's desktop app works for me. I'm using an Apple computer, but if you're not using an Apple computer, download it for windows, download it for whatever, right? So this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to show you using, um, an hourly contract, how that would work for me, right? So I have the time tracker app right here pop it open. Now I'm going to start tracking hours. And it said that for last week, right? So because it was telling me that I'd reached my weekly limit, I needed to press this button here and refresh my hours. Now, as you can see, the hours for all my long-term projects, the hours have refreshed. So let's just say we're doing this one, for example. And boom, we're going to do something. Did you see that pop up right there? We're going to do something quickly. Um, let's say I'm going to make a YouTube thumbnail, right? Now the really cool thing about time tracking that I just want to point out is that if for some reason you get load shedding or your router kicks out or something happens or your internet, I don't know, something happens to your internet, you can, all your hours that you log with the Upwork time tracking app. So let's say I went from using my internet to using my mobile phone as a hotspot, you can actually log all those hours still so nothing happens and then what the um, upwork time tracker app will do it will just keep taking all that information while you're working offline and then when you finally are online it will actually save that information and so it'll let you know please don't quit the app right now we're saving the information for you so that you can um, be able to bill your client. So the client sees that there was work that was actually done and that you weren't just staring at a blank screen. So, um, hourly contracts kind of act as a safeguard. If you're new on Upwork, they're a great way for you to show clients that you're getting the work done without necessarily, um, having to prove it because you're already showing the client your screen. Now they're a little invasive. I'm not going to lie. I mean, think about it. Someone who's not you is looking at your screen, your emails. If you get, if you receive notifications, so I'm going to do something that I recommend that anyone who has an Apple device or has an, is in the Apple ecosystem, put your um, stuff on do not disturb. So that that's why that moon thing popped up. You put your things on do not disturb. So your phone on do not disturb, but your computer will automatically also go on do not disturb that way and messages notifications that kind of thing will not interrupt you while you're working and the client will rest assured that you're doing the work that they want you to be doing that they're paying you for right so that's how the time tracker app works that's how you track your time i'm just waiting actually for it to take a picture so i can show you guys what it looks like when it takes the picture of your desktop so we're just gonna wait picture. And another really cool thing about the Upwork time tracker app is that you will see it up here in your bar, your status bar, your menu bar, and you can stop tracking time and it'll tell you how much time you've tracked and all of that good stuff. And then also you can open up the tracker, turn it off, turn it on again. You see 
time tracker, time started, and all of that good stuff. And that's how that works. So I'm just gonna wait for it to take a picture of me and then we'll be able to move on. So you'll see how the app works. And there it is. There's that picture. Do you see how it took a picture of my desktop? And there I am right there. And now when you look at the time tracker app, there I am right there, 10 seconds ago. And now it's clocked 10 minutes of working. And that's how the app works. So then you stop tracking time or you continue tracking time, whatever it is. It'll always tell you on the side right there what it is that you're doing. And that is how Upwork's time tracker app works. So the first thing you want to do when you have an hourly contract, once the contract is active, download um, the Upwork app from Upwork.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom, Upwork.com, and then desktop app. It'll be right there. And then from there, from desktop app, you go into your downloads, you open up the package contents, or you open up the executable file, and then you install the app, and then it'll chill in your docking station and then you'll pop it open and then start working on the contract that you have active and that's it and now all that money so let's say we go to reports dot which is where you will find out how much money you made in a particular week so that's what we're making right now that's what we have available and that's what we have in review so when you want to get paid this is where you go you go to available and you press get paid now and then you fill in all your payment information and that's how you get paid. So reports, available, get paid now. And that's it, it's that easy, right? So now I'm gonna get back to work. Bye everybody.